Hello, great people. Welcome back to our channel. We're so excited to have you again. It's no longer news that Mazin Kanu, the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, has been re-arrested. And today he was taken to court to continue with his trial. And right now, uh, the news we have for you is that Mazin Kanu, being who he is, had to seek the permission of the court to speak. You're going to listen to what he had to tell the entire court as uh, he was granted permission. But before we give you details of the news and for the analysis, we'd like to encourage you to please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button and also on the bell icon so that you can get notification anytime we publish our videos. All right, let's look at the news in detail. This the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, Ipop Mazinam de Kanu, on Tuesday opened up on why he escaped from the country in spite of the tr criminal charges of terrorism and treasonable felony brought against him by the federal government. Looking heavily weighed down, Kanu, who was brought to court for the continuation of trial shortly after he was intercepted by security operations, sought the permission of Justice Binta Nyako to address the court and present his side of the story. Upon the permission, Kanu told the court in the presence of heavily armed security operatives that his house was unlawfully invaded by security men with his life seriously threatened. This, the Biafran leader further alleged that he would have been killed along with others on the day of the invasion if not for the wisdom he applied to jump out of the country. Mm. Kanu's reaction was provoked by the federal government information through its counsel, Shuaib Labaran, that Kanu jumped the bail granted by the court to escape trial by running out of the country. Labaran had applied to the court for an order to remand Kanu in the custody of DSS. The counsel said the request became imperative because lawyers, because lawyers to Kanu were yet to be abreast of his rearrest. Justice Bintanya Court granted the request and ordered that Kanu be reprimanded in the custody of DSS till July 26 for the continuation of his trial. Although the continuation of trial was originally slated for October 20, 2021, it was brought downwards to July 26, 2021 for his lawyers to appear for his defense. Kanu appeared to have been given the VIP treatment while being moved out of court. He was taken away in Hancock through a special gate reserved for just judges and highly placed persons from where he was moved to the DSS to the DSS um, center, detention center. Hosts of uh, photographers and cameramen who had positioned themselves to take his photographs were disappointed upon discovery that Kanu has been taken out of court. Mm. This is um, uh, 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 just an update to what we had told you before now. There, there, there have been a lot of reactions ever since he was rearrested and brought down to Nigeria. Don't forget that before now, uh, Mazina Mikano was outside the country. And uh, for some of the things that had happened, many had been requesting for him to come in. But, but you know, a lot of questions keep playing in the hearts of people. Why is it that it is now that they were able to bring him in? When the, it seems as if the Southeasterners were losing uh, an opportunity, that Southeasterners politicians uh, were, were losing, or Southeast politicians were losing the opportunity of, be, you know, kickstarting their process of becoming the president of Nigeria come 2023. And, you know, there were a lot of issues that had come up. Most people were like, if uh, they are craving for Biafra, there's no need of giving them presidency. And uh, I can still remember a particular group in the Southeast coalition of northern groups were so adamant and they were pushing really hard to ensure that they are being granted referendum so that they can go. So I, I believe somehow that the politicians were not feeling too okay. And a lot of people are like pointing fingers right now. But then oh, we still have a long way to go. It, it's just starting, you know, right away. Let, let's look at some of the reactions of Nigerians because man, people 
are talking right now. Mm. And uh, someone here says, well, Mazin Namdekanu has been rearrested. So let's see how the case is going to look like. Another one said, DSS will not make the mistake that they made before now. Even the court too will not make any mistake to allow him to go. His fate is now in the hands of the federal government. My God. Another person here says, I am sure that what is happening now, those behind his rearrest may likely be his brothers. And that's why I keep advising that if he wanted to be a success in this tribe of becoming um, Biafran leader, he would have carried people along. He refused to carry Nigerians along and even his brothers. That is why it has turned out like this. Another one here says, please do not consider him to be a man who was fighting the wrong cause. He is a freedom fighter. As such, he should be treated as a freedom fighter. He was not fighting for his personal interest, but wanted to liberate his people. Mm. Another person here says, this is the beginning. Very soon, the likes of Sunday Ibowo will also be dealt with. As far as we are concerned, there are better days ahead of us. Nigeria will one day be better. Let's stay together as Nigerians. Mm. Another person here says, this is a very serious issue. I don't know what ESN and the rest will be doing at this point. Another one said here, Mazinam Dikano is a smart person, but his problem was that he refused to obey the advices of others. He thought he could do it all alone. Look at how embarrassed he is right now. Wow. Another person here says, Mazinam Dikano, your end has finally come. You were out there doing all manner of things and calling Nigeria a name. Why are you... No, I don't like this. Man. There's no need to talk all of this. Another person here says, Mazinam Dikano, I knew that one day Nigerians will get at you and your situation will be terrible. It is high time that we still stay as one Nigeria. When the right time comes for this country to be divided, nobody will spearhead it. It will just happen. Mm. And the last one I want to consider here say, this is a big lesson for freedom fighters. If you want to be a success, do well to carry your traditional rulers along. Carry your governors along. Let them understand your position. Hearken to some of the advices that they will give. I was so sure that this will happen. Reason being that politicians were almost being stripped of that which is their own. I'm wondering who will come to salvage him out of this situation, considering the fact that he was even against Britain, who he has... Uh, in, I don't know what this person is writing. All right, but we, we like to leave it there. Go to our comments.